Imagine you are operating a camera equipped robot to explore a small space. You notice a fork in the path and decide to explore one direction. You want to go back and explore the other part of the fork, but instead of backing up, the robot moves in an uncontrolled direction, making it impossible to move where you want. This is a problem faced by soft growing robots, and this presentation is about understanding and solving this problem. My name is Margaret Code from Stanford University, and I'm presenting the paper entitled Retraction of Soft Growing Robots Without Buckling. Soft growing robots move by extending from the tip. They achieve this using internal fluid pressure to pull material through their body and turn it inside out at the tip. These robots extend without sliding of their body material relative to the environment, so they have been proposed for applications where delicate interaction is necessary. Also, their bodies can be used as a conduit for tools, sensors, and other devices because they leave a trail where the tip has gone. The addition of external actuators, such as pneumatic artificial muscles, outside their body can allow three degree of freedom control of their tip position and the force applied to their environment during growth. These robots have even been deployed in the field for exploration of an archaeological site. Check out my other talk, also presented at ICRA 2020, for more information. However, a problem that greatly decreases the practicality and usability of these robots is their tendency to buckle rather than invert successfully during retraction when their inner material is pulled back from the base. This undesired buckling causes lack of control over both the robot tip position and the force applied to the environment. Here you see the robot unwantedly knocking over an obstacle in the environment. In this work, we solved the problem of undesired buckling during retraction through the addition of an electromechanical device to retract the robot in a controlled fashion. The contributions of this work are First, we developed and validated an analytical model to predict when buckling and inversion will occur during retraction. Second, we designed a device to prevent buckling during retraction. And third, we demonstrated several new soft growing robot capabilities that our retraction device enables. First, I'll talk about the analytical modeling. Let's start with a little bit of terminology. This is a section view of the soft growing robot. The distal end is what we call the tip, the outer material is called the wall, and the inner material is called the tail. When retracting a soft growing robot, you must apply a certain amount of tension on the tail to cause it to invert. However, enough tension on the tail will cause the robot to buckle, similar to a beam buckling under external loading. Our model assumes that either inversion or buckling will occur depending on which one requires the lower tail tension. Now for a straight robot, the force applied on the tail is completely axial and it tends to cause the robot to buckle in the middle. But for a curved robot, the force applied on the tail exerts a moment about the base and it tends to cause the robot to buckle at the base. So we model straight and curved robots differently. By comparing the tail tension to invert the robot with the tail tension to buckle the robot, our model lets us predict when a soft growing robot will buckle at various curvatures, pressures, and lengths. To validate our model, we experimentally retracted robots of various curvatures, pressures, and lengths and observed whether they inverted or buckled. To start, we retracted a straight robot at a range of pressures and lengths. Red X's denote that the robot buckled and green circles denote that the robot inverted. The black dotted line shows our modeled transition length between inversion and buckling. We did the same experiment for small curvature, medium curvature, and large curvature robots. The model matches the data well in all cases we tested. We can see that the straighter the robot, the longer the length at which it tends to invert without buckling. However, even straight robots buckle, so manipulating the robot curvature is not a solution to the buckling problem. We also see that even at high pressures above a certain length, the robot will buckle. So changing the pressure is not a solution to the buckling problem either. Finally, we see that across all pressures and curvatures, below a certain length, the robot inverts successfully, and above that length, it buckles. 
The key observation is that at any pressure and curvature, zero length robots do not buckle. This fact is what we will exploit in our solution to the buckling problem. Now that I've discussed the model, let me tell you about the device that we designed to exploit the information that we learned from the model. Our retraction device works by making the effective robot length zero for the purpose of retraction. To invert a soft growing robot, we must exert tension on the tail. When we retract the robot from the base, a device such as a motor exerts a device force, FD, on the tail, while also exerting an equal and opposite grounding force, FG, on its housing in the base. This makes the entire robot length susceptible to buckling due to this force. We realized that we can move our device to the robot tip. It still applies force on the tail to invert the robot, but it applies its equal and opposite grounding force on the robot tip itself. In this case, the robot length that is susceptible to buckling due to this force is zero. Here's our implementation of this retraction device. Our device contains a pair of motors that drive a pair of rotor rollers coated in high friction material that grip the tail. The tail is pulled through a pair of low friction routing apertures, one towards the tip and one towards the base, which ensure that the tail feeds properly into the rollers. Finally, there's a low friction tip grounding ring through which the grounding force is transmitted to the robot tip. Now we were excited when we built this device and found that just as we had hoped, it's able to successfully retract the soft growing robot without buckling. Now that I've told you about our retraction device design, I'd like to show you some new soft growing robot capabilities that we can achieve using this device. This video shows a soft growing robot navigating an obstacle course where it explores one direction in a forking path and then attempts to retract and explore another direction. On the top, we have a soft growing robot without a retraction device, and on the bottom, we have a soft growing robot with a retraction device. The robot on the top is unable to control its position during retraction and ends up knocking over one of the obstacles. But the robot on the bottom is able to retrace its steps and navigate the forking path successfully. Here we have a soft growing robot retracting through a confined environment. The blue tube is slightly larger than the robot diameter and the robot is preformed into the shape of the tube to apply as low force as possible. A force sensor is mounted between the tube and the floor and measures the force applied on the tube by the robot in the plane of the floor. The force magnitude is much reduced with the retraction device, which makes sense because the robot body doesn't need to brace itself against the tube to prevent itself from buckling due to retraction forces. Finally, here we have a soft growing robot with tape on the bottom, growing over an environment and sticking to the soil. During retraction, the soil that is stuck to the robot body gets engulfed inside the tail and is transported back to the base. Without the retraction device, buckling means that the environment gets disturbed and the samples are mixed. However, with the retraction device, the environment is left pristine and the samples return to the base in reverse order of where they were found. In summary, in this work, we presented a new analytical model to predict buckling and inversion during retraction. The key takeaway from that model was that buckling cannot occur at zero robot length. We also presented the design of a device to prevent buckling during retraction. This device functions by reducing the effective robot length for the purpose of retraction to zero. Finally, we demonstrated several new soft growing robot capabilities using this device. Overall, controlled motion and force during retraction make soft growing robots more usable and practical. So next time you wanna operate a camera equipped robot to explore a small space, consider using a soft growing robot equipped with a retraction device. It just might do the trick, or at least it will allow you to explore both directions in a forking path. I'd like to thank my co-authors on this work. I certainly could not have done it alone. I'd also like to thank our funding sources. For more information on soft growing robot designs and related research, please visit vinerobots.org. Thank you.